Hi Misa. Hi Franklin. Hi Lukman. What are you guys reading? Winter half. Winter half? Mm -hmm. What's that? Let me explain. Winter health is a new idea that emphasizes how interconnected the public, animals, as well as environmental health are. Winter health, which is described as the condition of the ecological system on which human society depends entirely, as well as the health between both, draws immediate attention to the major harm done to our world by social progress. Okay, but how does winter health affect human life? We sure it's not too bad. You sure? Uh huh. The spread of infections, fatalities, human habitation, nutrition, water, and cleanliness are all changing due to climate change. Flooding is one recognized human influence that can raise the risk of vector borne and water related diseases. Okay, it's like I'm wrong big time. So, how do we achieve plenty health? To achieve plenty health, an interdisciplinary, cross sectoral, and transnational strategy must be used to influence thoughts and action at all stages, from the international to the individual. This looks important, so tell me, what is the importance of mental health? So, scientists have created the area of mental health to better comprehend the connection involving human health and the environment. This provides important key indications for monitoring how humans and the environment interact. And, what is the objective of mental health? Mental health aims for a better understanding of all of the needs of humanity and balancing of this humanity with the preservation of the earth to sustain health and well-being for the future generation. Speaking of future generations, what are the benefits of better health for the future generations? Better health such as diet helps not only the environment but also your health because of hugely on the person's carbon footprint and also causing you to eat a healthier mix of food. This way, we have a brighter and healthier future for generations to come. So, Lukman, what do you understand about planetary health? So, I guess this planetary health thingy is about how the environmental health, animals and public are interconnected, and how the environmental health, and even though it doesn't seem important, can actually affect human health, such as how climate change causes flood, and it can raise the risk of vector borne and water-related diseases. But still, there's still hope as there are ways to achieve planetary health. This thing cannot be sidelined as it can help us understand better the connection between human health and the environment. The objective of this thing is how to balance out the need for humanity all the while preserving the earth to make sure that our future generations will have a bright future.